Yeah, not too bad. Just, I, I guess you're gonna have to remove this baseboard though, so I guess you are just gonna re-drywall it and redo the bathroom. Um, the brick wall, maybe paint it a modern color, paint the fireplace. Um, the kitchen, this is my recommendation for this. I would put the refrigerator there and then make it U-shaped with the breakfast bar here. And then you could probably put the oven there and then the dishwasher can go inside of uh, this little breakfast bar. I think that's, and then you still have room for a TV here. Um, again, if this was a nicer neighborhood, you might remove this wall here, but um, in the basement, I don't know, kind of, thing I don't like is, uh, you got, the, the, actually the way it's framed is not bad. It's just that this room, bedroom or whatever you want to call it, doesn't have a window. So it's just, it is, I don't know what it is. It's nice storage room here. And this is nice. You got storage here. And this is nice. You got storage here. I would just use this as a storage area. The bar I go back and forth with. I mean, people like bars. I don't know if you just pull the top off and leave drywall and then just put like a Formica top for this, you know, type of house. Somebody might really like the bar. You still got a lot of room. I would redo this bathroom, definitely. This will give you the two bathrooms that you need. So, um, this wood stove, get this out of here. So, I don't know. I mean, um, my gut feeling is if you want to get the 249.9, you got to do, you know, a full rehab. Uh, like Linden, or better than Linden, more like a little more like uh, Sulphur Spring. If yeah, I'd put the screens back up on this, you know, or you just kind of clean this up and sell it for $1.99 quick. So, your call.